I got it. Oh, it's a phone! Sure. We are here in Seaside right now. We are going metal detecting. It's about 55 degrees. It's a little chilly. I got my shorts on though. We're good. Mark's got some shorts on. We are going to experience negative tide. Negative tide. So Mark plans on getting in the water a little bit. Tide's going out right now, so it might be a little rough. This is one of our favorite spots. We always find really good stuff here, so we're really excited. We're gonna find some gold today. Let's go. See you on our first find. All right, we got a 9, 10, solid 10. Still there. I think I got it. In here somewhere. Still there. It's a nice signal. Nice loud signal. <gasps> yes! Awesome. My first find in Seaside is a ring. Can you believe it? This is amazing. We left Brick Beach. We came here because I said we always find stuff. And literally my first find is a ring. God. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> my first on. find. Told you we needed to come here. It's my favorite beach. That's a nice ring. 20? 10. 10? Yeah. Wild. That rang up a 10? Yeah. I wonder if there's gold in there or something in there. I don't know. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Yay. I love seaside. Not deep. Not, right, not so too deep. My first find was a penny. That's better than junk. Okay, we got a 2021. 20, Oh, it's a phone number. Oh, it's like a, I think it's like an old sign with a number on it, phone number. Ooh, I could call it. Cool. 16, 14, 16, 15, 14 to 17. <laughs> Next start. Coming up. Eventually. I'm hoping not too deep. Take some off right there. And that'd be it. 16, 17. Solid. No bottle cap, baby. Come on, baby. No bottle cap. Oh, not a bottle cap. For a split second, Saw the gold, thought maybe a ring, but it's a grommet. <sighs> Boo. Yeah, let's keep going. Just dug these out. That hole, very deep. Very deep hole. Some keys. Old keys. Look at the little baby beach chickens. Oh, they're so cute. And next up, we got a 22, 23, 24. Right about there. Oh, we got it. I was going to say, it's the size of a quarter, but it's not. Token. Elot. Probably for like a coin pusher in one of the arcades up here. Cool. Always love finding tokens, though. Something different, you know? So this is what's so cool about a negative tide. 
right here in high tide, most likely it'd be over my head. The water would be over my head. You could see kind of where I am in relation to the, the houses and everything. And Angela up there. Kind of on like, uh, it's kind of like a sandbar almost. You can walk right out to it though. So this is where everybody would be from this like this point where I'm standing here where my sand scoop is and forward would be at where everybody is swimming that's what I'm trying to cover in the short amount of time that we have this tide 16 17 22 let's go and get it Right there, strong signal too. Let's try it from that angle. I can't give up. an aluminum can. <laughs> I got it. Oh, it's a phone! Uh-oh. That means I cracked the screen, though. <laughs> No, maybe not. Ooh, ooh, it's a nice phone. <laughs> That's like an iPhone 12. All right, let's bring it up. Clean it up a little bit. See if it... We're gonna have to dry this out. I'm assuming. Got a screen protector on it. Man, that was deep. Somebody's not happy about that. I wonder if this will ever work again. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Will it work? I'm not going to try and turn it on now, but I'm going to take the case off of it. Get all that sand out of there. Wow, look at all that sand in there. I'll tell you what, <laughs> for as deep as that baby was, that is not in bad condition. This looks exactly like my phone. batteries will swell up on these things. But there is like rust marks down by the dock connector. That's cool. It's like an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Same phone I Alright, this is a good one. 33 could be silver ring. Sounds heavy. What is it? <gasps> what is this?
Oh, looks like a looks like a half dollar. Oh, yep. This is my first half dollar. It's awesome. Mark found one of these not too long ago at the beach. Cool. Twenty nine thirty three quarter. Maybe. What's exciting? A half dollar. We got Angela right here. You got a half dollar? What year? I'm not recording anymore. I'm recording. I got a uh, 30. It looks like a 33 again. Yes, it's a half dollar. I don't know what year it can be. Mix in with a quarter, though. Got it. Ah, quarter. There's a lot of coins, like, right in this area. 72. All right. It's money. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's a big weight. Fishing weight. Five ounces. Ten, eleven. right here yep some sinkers quarter keep it moving keep it moving all right okay so we just got back from seaside heights one of our favorite beaches to detect yeah um we took some really cool pictures so check them out on instagram and we had some pretty interesting finds at first, we went to a different beach. We went to... Brick. Brick. Yeah. And we weren't having any luck. Mark and I were just like kind of like scanning around with the detectors and no signals. There was a lot of push in. It was super <laughs> cut short. We walked onto the beach and we were like, where's the rest of the beach? I don't know. Like literally... 50 yards? Less? I don't even think that much. I think yeah. it was like 30. With the negative tide. We tried it out for a little bit just to see if there was anything out there, if we were getting any uh, any targets, and we weren't. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we picked up our stuff and we were, we're out. We're, yeah. like, we're going to our tried and true. We're going to Seaside Heights. We know Seaside always <laughs> delivers, and today it delivered. Mark usually has the feeling, and he's like, no, we're not leaving. But this time he was like, yeah, let's go. So we did We did find, obviously, our, our normal trash. Let's get into our find. Do you want to start it off? I'll start it off. Okay, so I found this old set of keys. I didn't record the entire day because it was a very mixed signal and it was kind of, you know. But you know, when I found the keys, I was like, okay, and I showed the camera. So you'll see that in the video um, if you haven't seen it already. And as soon as we find the house, we'll show you the house. <laughs> nice uh, ocean view, maybe. I don't even need that, as long as it's down there. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Uh, I found this really cool fishing lure. It um, has a huge hook in it, so you gotta be careful. This was a surface find, this little army guy. You've been finding a lot of those. I know, I have. You know what, Veterans Day is coming up. That's true. Actually, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, so this is uh, to rip all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service. I'm gonna keep him. I found a five ounce. I almost, you almost said pound. I almost said pound. <laughs> it's heavy. Green grade. Oh, 250. Actually, this one's a little small. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Dollar that's our collection. I have a nice little collection of marine grade washers going. <laughs> Found this uh, fifty cent piece. It is yeah. a 1977. Um, I, I did read about some errors that they were struck with silver. 
on accident, mm -hmm. a silver planchet, well over 11 grams if it's silver, struck on silver. Like a 40% silver content? 40% silver. That's wild. The edges are worn smooth. Mm -hmm. And they said sometimes you could tell silver coins by their edges, but yeah. it, those edges are so smoothed out that it's really hard to tell. Well, these are also copper too, so it's, it's definitely clad, but there could be 40% content. There's it's, definitely copper in that. You okay. can see the edge. I wonder what the other 60% is when okay. it's made out of silver. Right. I don't know. Denver. Denver was the mint mark that was, the planchets were mixed up with silver. It's probably not in good condition anyway. Um, I can't even see the mint the, mark, so. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know. We, uh, could, we could throw it through the tumbler and clean it up. All right, so I found, oh, I didn't count my money first. Oh, I should have. Dollar fifty-six. Oh, thank you. Did it for you. So, we'll, we'll mouse bite out of it. I have a dollar fifty-six. I hope I beat Mark in the change department today. But I also found this ring it has um we'll roman some, numerals we'll put some pictures up down here for you it's a very it's a, nice ring and that was actually you know what that's funny because that was your first find on seaside Lakes beach so we left the other beach in brick we came to seaside and it was literally my first find. I'm like yes but I, you got super excited about this. it was like i'm home <laughs> this is where we're meant to be very so cool very it cool. was uh i was very jealous about that speaking of jealous <laughs> we'll get to your finds and yeah. mark had find one of my bucket list items so Look so that's yours. that's a tungsten carbide ring, but tungsten way. carbide, yeah. So no no uh, precious metals. It's probably from like a, a surfer. Probably, yeah. It's probably what happened. Probably like taking the wetsuit off the water, so, yeah, like it fell off. Because there were a few people actually going out in the surf. I know. I stumbled across a towel at one point and had all these like metal things in it. Because I was like, there's nobody around. Whose towel is this? And I just scanned it. In water. And they were in the. I saw them in the water. I was like, okay, I'm not going to touch any of that. <laughs> so. I left your stuff alone, no worry. We don't mess with surfers. <laughs> no. And that's about it for my finds. I mean, I had a really good day once we got to Seaside. I love Seaside. Yeah, I do, I do too. I know you do. But we gotta explore other beaches too, you know? Right. We're so, dollar fifty six and change. We'll see what Mark has and check out some of your finds. Okay. So, I found... You ready for this? <laughs> A dollar eighty three and change. So you beat me. Just barely. But yeah. I found a fifty cent piece. I know that, and that's cool. and this could be silver. Listen, I might be the winner. In addition to my change, I found another token. Which, you did? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually. I'm enjoying finding these things. Is that that e lot? Yeah. Oh, let me it, it's like a coin pusher token. So I I like finding them. I don't know why. It's like a quarter coming out of the scoop, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, no, nope, that's not a quarter. Like size comparison for the. I know. Look, it's a yeah. This is half a millimeter bigger, bigger yeah. than the quarter. I unfortunately didn't find any jewelry, and I was upset about that. And it was toward <laughs> the end of our day. We were getting close to like about to wrap it up, and I found a like a crazy deep signal. <laughs> Five arrows down. And I was like, it was right at the water's edge. So I'm like, ah, it could be something good because it sounded like it sounded good. And remember, it was negative tide. So at the and surf is normally like chest, chest deep. deep. Yeah, chest deep of water. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm, this could be something good. It was a little scattered, but it was like 15. It jumped around a little bit. But 15 was what I locked onto. And I'm like, 15, I know, is like a good yeah, signal. And, gold. There, and there was no iron behind it. I don't care what it takes. I'm getting to the bottom of this. So I pulled it out and I thought I hit something. And I even, like, I noted it. Like I said, I'm like, oh, I just hit something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. And then I pulled it out. And it was, it was an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Why didn't I find it? And it is in amazing amazing condition everything is mint on it it had a case on it i took the case off of it on the beach just to get all the sand off of it and this what? is the iphone 12 pro max if it is a 500 gig phone you're talking 1500 dollars. wow you're talking, a 15, you're talking about a $1,500 phone. The battery wasn't swollen. You get any kind of water damage inside the phone. What happens, it, it'll, the battery inside of it will actually swell up and it'll push the top glass off the, the screen. I've seen that happen before, but when I pulled this out, I was like, okay, it doesn't look like it did that. And these are supposed to be waterproof phones, but I think it's like two meters for 30 minutes. I can't imagine they lost it the same day. I, I did crack the screen protector, so I peeled that off to make sure that there was no damage to glass underneath it, and there wasn't. It was, it, this phone is in mint condition, <laughs> but it doesn't turn on. Unfortunately. We cannot get a charge on it. I put it in silicon beads to, to try and dry it out. I pulled the SIM card out, and I was able to get the phone number for the owner of the phone from the SIM card. 
we're gonna place a phone call and we're gonna see if the person wants this back. Guys, don't swim with your phones. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? This is Mark and my wife Angela here. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Hi. Amy here. Hi, Hi, Amy. We um, we found your phone. <laughs> That's amazing. I thought that was lost forever. I thought I was never gonna see that phone again. <laughs> I, you know what? Judging from how deep it was under the sand, I I believe that. Was that like Seaside Heights, like middle of like the boardwalk? Yes. Or yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that means that the phone didn't, because, I mean, that's exactly where I was. Yeah. So, I don't know how deep you guys went, but um, the day that I lost it, I, I lost it, like, right on the edge of the sand, but the tide okay. was just so strong, it, like, just swallowed it up. Uh. So. And you guys, what, had to move your towel real quick, or what, were you swimming? No, so I was actually... Um, I did something really stupid. I, I just wanted to take like a nice video, you know, <laughs> phone, you know, to post on social media. Yeah. But I that day was just very, very strong. Like you could barely go past the edge. I was there trying to film my little video, and the waves just crashed really hard, and I fell with my phone. Oh. Yeah. And then when I went to get up, um, I just lost the grip of the phone really fast, and it. Gone. It probably like, just no. buried itself in the sand and didn't, it didn't go anywhere else. Yeah, metal things, anything heavy sinks so quickly in sand and that's that why it's you probably find it. exactly where you dropped it. I had like friends with me like day four. <laughs> the tide that day was like incredible. Like it was very, very, very strong. And I, you know, not to swim. My friends didn't either. The lifeguard wasn't there. <laughs> not risking it for, for a phone. It's, it's okay. Yeah. How, how long ago did you lose it? That was August 18, actually. I was looking at pictures. Yeah, so. Wow. Did it go? Did it turn on? So. Here's uh, the story. <laughs> fortunately, it, it doesn't turn on. Right, I figured. So it, it looks like it's in perfect, perfect condition. So there is a possibility that you might be able to either bring it to Apple or a secondhand, like, technician. To like refurbish it. Refurbish it. And might, you might be able to get, like if there's any data on it, you might be able to get that back. Did you have your phone backed up to your computer or anything else to like save what pictures you had? I mean, I wasn't able to get back pictures um, that I was trying to take, like the videos that I took. Which yeah. are, I wasn't able to get that back. Um, but like basically everything else, because everything was backed up to the cloud. Sure. Um, and I actually have Apple Care. Um, so I just was able to get a new phone. Um, it took forever and, you know, I had to pay a fee for that. So what we would like to do is, I mean, there, I mean, there's no sense in us having it. So we're going to ship it out to you. If, if you, you'd like us to. You know, it's, I don't know if I can even get it to, you know, do anything. Um, since I reported, like, lost. I think the phone it's done for, like, even if I were to, I have heard that once you report it lost or stolen, it's like, you can't use it. Right. Mm -hmm. We're just happy you had it backed up. Yeah. Um, because you didn't lose all your information, all your stuff, all your pictures. Yeah. You know, that was our biggest concern that you would need this somehow to get refurbished or something to, to have your data back, your photos and stuff. Thank you guys so much for finding it. It was like, <laughs> I, when I got that text, I'm like, wait, there's no way. <laughs> and it's funny because I actually sometimes watch like those youtube videos of like you know people like finding stuff with the metal detectors and stuff and like i even thought to myself like i was like oh like that would be so cool if somebody found my phone <laughs> it's probably like so far gone because like i was so strong that day i'm like there's no way anybody's gonna ever find this phone but i'm so glad you guys found it um yeah, it's wild. Like, like a super cool story so thank you Thank you. We really appreciate your story, too. I mean, it's really interesting yeah. to see how, like, you know, people lose stuff, what happens, because we always, we're the finders of things, you know, we find all sorts of stuff. We don't get the backstory. We don't ever get the backstory until we have somebody's phone, and this is our first phone that we found, so it was nice to, you know, call you and talk to you and see what the story was and see, you know, how everything turned out for you. It's cool, because we get some, like, closure on it. Yeah. So. Right. I can imagine, and so did I, because, like, even the other day, like, I was wondering, I'm like, you know, I wonder where my phone is. <laughs> and then, you know, funny thing, you guys sent me that text, like, hey, definitely nice, and um, I 
guess for both ends. Yeah. All right. Well, well like I said, if if you want to send us your address, we'll send it out to you free of charge. We also understand your concern for not wanting it back to. Like, that, yeah. We get it. So it's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. But if you decide to change your mind and you do want it back at some point, just let us know. Um, you know, Amy, thank you again for uh, letting us call you and uh, giving you the news of your phone <laughs> recovery. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care, guys. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Amy. That was fun. Very cool. So she was at the edge of the water taking photos or videos. Yeah. And I guess got knocked over by a wave. Got knocked over by a wave. Instantly dropped her phone. So she ended up getting a new phone because her phone was lost. It's, it's broken anyway. It does not turn on. You know, we just wanted to give her the option, so. And she got some closure. We got some closure. I know. It was it's, funny. She was like, cool. I just thought about my phone the other day. Like, who has my phone? Turn on my, find my iPhone, see what's there. Like, <laughs> all right, guys, so this was a fun hunt. We had a really good time. We were able to talk to Amy, who lost her phone. Um, I found a 50 cent piece and a ring. Mark found some change. He won today in change. And he may have won in fines with that phone, because we got to call Amy. So, meet yeah. a new person, get a new subscriber, hopefully. And if you guys feel inclined to subscribe, please do so. We are almost on our way to uh, 1K, and we're gonna have a huge giveaway yeah. um, when that 1K subscriber. It's gonna be, you guys are gonna like this. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So guys, we're gonna put up two more videos. Um, check them out, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you on our next hunt. Bam, that's how it's done. Now I hit my elbow again. <laughs>